know, you already save a lot of money every year thanks to our videos. So save on car parts too. Buy them on the Mr. Auto app. Shipping is free. Turn your engine off. Pull up the handbrake. Pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. To be able to access your spark plugs, it is necessary to remove the airbox. Using a 4mm Allen key, start by unscrewing the holding screws on the air inlet conduit. You can then release the airbox conduit by pulling on it. With a socket wrench, an extender and a 10mm socket, remove the holding screws on the airbox. You can now lift the back of the airbox, which will give you access to the small breather conduit, so you can remove it. Lift the airbox completely and remove the second hose using a flathead screwdriver and unscrew the clamping clip. Pull on it, making little back and forth movements. You will be able to see the four antiparasites, which will let you access the spark plugs. Remove the interference filters by pulling on them. You will then have access to the spark plugs. Using a socket wrench, an extender and a 16mm spark plug socket, release the spark plug. Finish it off by hand. Lightly coat the thread of the new spark plug with copper grease. Replace the new spark plug by inserting it directly into the spark plug socket. Since it is so fragile, start this off by hand, giving the proper support the plug needs before finishing the process with the wrench. Always start screwing by hand, then finish by fixing it in place with a socket wrench, finalizing the tightening with a quarter turn. There are several techniques for tightening the spark plugs. You can use a torquey wrench and employ the torquey settings recommended by the manufacturer. Or you can use an angular turkey gauge to respect the recommended angle. We strongly recommend watching our tutorial how to tighten spark plugs before carrying out this step. Put the anti-parasite back on, pushing it in as far as possible. You can now repeat the same process on the other spark plugs. Put the hose back in place and tighten the clamping clip. Put the airbox back in position, then reattach the small breather hose. Put the airbox back in its housing, then clip it in by pushing down on it. Now, screw the two retaining screws back in. Reinsert the air inlet conduit into the airbox and finish by screwing the retaining screws for the conduit back in.
operation completed.